In this video, we will discuss using Lowe's as a supplier in SkewGrid. There are a few things you need to know about Lowe's. The most important is that Lowe's is one of the stores that shows different pricing and availability based upon the store location set in your browser. SkewGrid will always use the zip code 11101 for Lowe's and all other US based stores with the exception of Home Depot which is 60607. When you visit the Lowe's website you should change the store location at the top of your browser to zip code 11101 which is the Chelsea New York Lowe's location. It is important to do this if you see any price or availability differences before placing your orders so that you can see what SkewGrid sees. Another thing to note is that Lowe's uses calculated shipping. This means that shipping is not known until you add an item to cart and go through checkout. Shipping is based on the item's weight and may vary per item. So it is important that when using Lowe's you add the item to cart and view your cart to determine the shipping amount and factor that shipping amount into both your fixed and minimum margins when overriding your item so that you do not incur unexpected losses due to shipping. Lastly, Lowe's has different shipping options available. They ship by either parcel shipping or truck delivery. Take this item for example. You will see that it is available for both shipping and delivery. SkewGrid is only looking for shipping to be available. Truck delivery is a much more expensive option. If you see both shipping and delivery available, your item will still be considered in stock. However, if you look at this item, you will notice that only delivery is available. When you add the item to cart, you'll see that there is no ability to select parcel shipping. SkewGrid would consider this item out of stock because only truck delivery is available and parcel shipping is not. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.